Do you know which data structure is used to implement an order list in any restaurant? Consider I own a hotel named Codewars where I accept the order online. Now generally for the same food item, whoever puts the order first will get the delivery of food first. Means first come first serve. Now suppose Ross places an order for pizza and after Ross, Monica and Rachel places an order. So whenever the first pizza is ready, then we will deliver the first pizza to Ross and second pizza will be delivered to Monica and then last pizza will be delivered to Rachel. Means whoever places the order first will get the pizza delivery first. This operation where the first person who places an order will get the food delivery first is called as first in first out and the data structure which allows us to perform the operation is called as queue. Consider a queue as a line in front of any restaurant. Whoever is in the front of a line will get the food delivery first. Now assume we got an order from Ross, Monica and Rachel. Then we will add them into queue. Ross is now in the front of a queue. So whenever first pizza is ready then we will deliver the first pizza to Ross and then we will remove him from the queue. Now Monica is in the front of queue so she will get the next order. Now now if Chandler places an order then we will add him into the queue. Whenever second order is ready then we will deliver it to Monica and then remove her from the queue. Similarly next order will be delivered to Rachel and after which Chandler will get the order. Now if queue is empty means we have fulfilled all the orders. Now let's see how we can use a built in queue interface in a Java. The queue interface is present in java.util package so we have to import it first. Since the queue is interface we have to implement the queue first. There are three ways to implement the queue. First is linked list implementation, second is array DQ implementation and third is a priority queue. So while defining the queue we can select which implementation we want for that queue. In today's video we will use linked list implementation. To define a queue just create an object of a queue class and with the data type mentioned in angular bracket and after equal to operator use constructor for linked list class. Now your queue is ready to use. So let's assume we got an order from Ross, Monica and Rachel. So we will add Ross, Monica and Rachel into queue. We can use add function to add into queue. If you print the queue then you will find that Ross is in the front of queue or you can use peak function to check who is in the front of queue. Now suppose the first order for pizza is ready. So we will deliver that order to Ross and remove him from the queue. The remove function is used to remove the data from queue. Now our chef is preparing order for Monica which is now at the front of queue. If Chandler presses an order then we will add him into queue. Now the second pizza is ready. Then we will deliver it to Monica and remove her from the queue. And same when third pizza is ready we will deliver it to Rachel and remove her from a queue. When fourth pizza is ready then we will deliver it to Chandler and remove him from the queue. Now our queue is empty which means we have delivered all the orders. If you like this video then subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.